Um, words fascinate me, and uh, there's a few things I wanted to say about that. And I just want to start uh, talking about words, because words, you know, we need them. We need the words to communicate. But sometimes words get in the way. They're just confusing. For instance, uh, you familiar with Sara Lee. Sara Lee, she's the, she's the girl with the nice cupcakes. That's not a, not a euphemism for anything. She, she makes cupcakes. Actually, it's helping a lot. Uh, no, 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 this is the, the cupcake lady. Their slogan for Sara Lee is this. Nobody doesn't like Sara Lee. And a lot of people think it's nobody doesn't like, because it sounds like that. It isn't. Look it up. Google it. Nobody doesn't like Sara Lee. Nobody doesn't. It's a double negative. You hear it, you're like, people don't like Sara Lee? No, no. Nobody doesn't like Sara Lee. Oh. But no one else does that. No one puts a double negative into their their slogans, right? Like, okay, for instance, Skittles, do not taste the rainbow. <laughs> right? That doesn't work. That's confusing. Don't be confusing. I've got more. Uh, I wrote them down. I wrote down everything. There's another one. Energizer. Don't you not have the bunny on the outside? <laughs> no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Nike, don't just not do it. What? No, no, why do you do that? Visa, it's not nowhere you don't not want to be. It's, it's just confusing. Stop it. But you know, okay, I'll tell you what's really crazy. Song lyrics, okay? Many song lyrics really make no sense. There are some really great songs out there with really a lot of meaning. But the songs that you all, we have some adults, I'm not pointing to you, listen to that are just dumb. They really make no sense, okay? And, and here you go. Uh, Mr. Mr. you you, you, gonna, you want to help me with some of these? Okay. I'll help you with some. He's, he's ready to go. Okay, all right. Well, he's getting ready back there. Um, let me, for instance, here's one of the songs that were popular recently, okay? I might mean, wait to think about these lyrics. <laughs> now, now that it's raining, more than ever, you know that we'll still have each other. Again, it's a bit of a forced rhyme, but we'll let, it, we'll let it go. You can stand under my umbrella. You can stand under my umbrella. Ella. Ella. A. <laughs> a. Under my umbrella. Ella. Ella. A. 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 Under my umbrella. Ella. Ella. A. A. <laughs> Under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, A. A, A. A, A. A. Thank you. So, okay, I think I made my case. Your music stinks. You need classic music. Classic music with meaningful lyrics. Like, okay, here's one. Okay. Uh, this is a song from my childhood. It's, a, it's, a, it's about a gambler. It's called The Gambler. <laughs> Do I just twist your PSO yes, down on my PSO? Alright. You gotta know when to hold up. Know when to fold up. Martinis, no weenies, 
Just got to get in between you. <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying here. I I think he's trying to be I think he's trying to be naughty, but I cannot in any way make this sound dirty in my head at all. To me, okay. Uh, no weenies. Okay. Well, to me that's sad. I'm at the barbecue. We're out of hot dogs. I feel bad. Okay. That's what that that's what that means to me. And in between. In between, that doesn't even sound like English. It actually sounds like British. It sounds like a British slang. It sounds like a cricket game. Like, it sounds like something you'd say, it's like a play in cricket. Like, uh, and Bonnie Collins defending the wicket, and oh, wait, McCracken gets the in between, and that's the game! <laughs> that makes more sense than the way he's using it. I mean, there's, a, there's one, I think, really explains things well. Uh, it, goes like, it goes like this Do I start it? Yes. Um, there's, there's a little rule that we have when we, when we perform. Uh, practice, don't do it. <laughs> okay. Uh. Mikhail Nelson, ladies and gentlemen! 